This video will focus on the process of differentiation, the separation of materials according to density. From known values of Earth's mass and radius, we can calculate an average density of 5.5 grams per centimeter cubed. However, the density of Earth's crust is less than 3 grams per centimeter cubed. So there must be much denser material in the interior of Earth. This has been confirmed by seismology, measuring the vibrations from earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, and the speed they travel through different regions of Earth's interior. Seismologists recognize four distinct regions in the interior of Earth with very different properties. Note that the density of the core rises to 13 grams per centimeter cubed. We believe that Earth and other terrestrial planets were able to differentiate because their interiors were once molten. Let's explore our understanding of this concept with a pure instruction question. For a substance to float on another substance, which stated characteristic must be true? Classroom students should follow normal procedures or instructor guidelines. Viewers not in a classroom should record your vote and explain your reasoning on a piece of paper. Please pause this video and answer the question. The iceberg, which is composed of fresh water, has a density of about 0.9 grams per centimeter cubed, while the salty seawater has a density of about 1.03 grams per centimeter cubed. A floating substance must have a lower density. A good demonstration for showing differentiation is the polydensity bottle available from Educational Innovations. There are two different types of beads with different colors and different densities immersed in a fluid. We begin our demonstration by shaking up the bottle and completely intermixing the beads and fluid. Note that the two types of beads quickly separate with the low density white beads rising to the top of the fluid and the high density blue beads settling to the bottom. However, as we continue to watch, note that the white beads start to settle and the blue beads start to rise. Note that this portion of the video has been sped up. This occurs because there are really four substances involved here, two types of beads, rubbing alcohol, and a salt water solution. After shaking, the combined fluid mixture has a density in between the densities of the two beads. However, over time, the two fluids start to separate and our final layering is entirely due to density. Alcohol with a density of about 0.8 grams per centimeter cubed on top, then white beads, blue beads, and finally a salt solution with a density of about 1.3 grams per centimeter cubed on the bottom. More teaching materials can be found on the web at astro.unl.edu.